Hey Virgos, welcome or welcome back. Thank you guys so much for being here and showing all your love and support. Let's see what we got going on in the energy. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And stick around till the end to get your daily Virgo messages. What's the message here? I'm only going to take out what comes out. What do we need to know? Holy Spirit, Divine. Okay, so we have Page of Swords, the Four of Wands. Somebody's interested in your love life. Okay, with the Page of Wands. Somebody's interested in your love life or is trying to figure out if you got somebody at home or if you have company. Or this could be you checking up on somebody here energetically or using your own divination tactics to tap into somebody's energy here. There's somebody that, that has some sort of good news that they want to come back and tell you, but they're trying to figure out if you're home or not. They don't got your number or you don't have a platform or you're not really big on social media. They're, they're going to try to come to your home. Okay. What's this good news? What is this good news here? Page of Wands. Or there's some sort of conversation that's going to go really well. Yeah, I feel like this person is, is moving in a really... It's like something is progressing. Something is getting better. Somebody's determined to turn their whole uh, dynamic around. I feel like somebody's no longer in this Four Swords energy, but there is some sort of anxiety that consumes a feminine here. Somebody's nervous. Somebody's intuition is telling them something that, that brings on some sort of burdens pertaining to this person no longer indulging in them emotionally. Yeah, somebody's no longer in love with an individual. And there's a woman that is in her feelings about this or very anxious about this type of energy. This person could be a Cancerian. Yeah. Somebody's moving on or it's like somebody's direction has changed from something that they're bringing some sort of willpower from. Somebody's watching your home or watching to see who's in your home, who's coming to your home, etc. What's this page of swords to the four of wands? Okay. Somebody's using trickery or deception to get to you here. Yep. Somebody here is considered the third party. OK, somebody's uh, somebody is trying to make you a, a option or you're trying to make somebody an option because, you know, things aren't going right. In somebody's life. OK, clarify the magician. This person could have Virgo in their chart or be a Virgo. I told you. Somebody's coming in to trick you, to trick, betray, or neglect you. Somebody is not going to be coming in with the right intentions. Okay, somebody's heart space is closed off, and they just see you as the missed opportunity that they may want to take advantage of at this time, but it's only for selfish reasons. Okay, this person is going to continue to breadcrumb you or will breadcrumb you if this is somebody new. Okay, somebody is just wanting to reap the benefits of something that will turn out to be an injustice for you. So be mindful of this type of energy. Somebody wants to put you a part of a third party situation or do this again if this is somebody that you're already been involved with in the recent past. Okay, this is somebody that's a false twin flame Spirit is telling you not to meet up with them. They have legal situations that they need to figure out. Somebody's running away from the law or some sort of financial, um, some, some sort of finances that they need to pay for. And they're trying to come up under your wing to see if either A, you'll, they'll give you some love in and you'll help them. Or they're just being greedy to get what they want. I think somebody is trying to piss a person off though. Okay. Somebody's in a relationship with a person that they're trying to piss off. That's what I'm picking up here.
So there is a false twin that's coming towards you that could be a potential Virgo. They could also be a Cancerian air sign or fire. Okay, somebody's going to act like they have some sort of good news for you. Like things are going well for them. They probably will be vague with that energy. Somebody is, is physically attracted to you. has some sort of chemistry when it comes to you. I feel like spirit is telling you to remember. Somebody's coming in as a Decepticon. Yep. This person is going to be very non-expressive. I told you. Very vague with certain things that you may ask them. Okay. This, this is somebody that's reminiscing on you. And doesn't want you to see the illusions that they're bringing towards you to be able to integrate lives with you. But you may be getting some sort of karma for dealing back with this person when you could have so much more. Okay? Don't let a time of loneliness or wanting to be close to someone get you into a space where you might pay karma for something. There is some sort of foundation that's going to be solidified, but not through this, this karmic twin. Okay. Let's see here. What's the message for Virgo? Message for Virgo. Okay. So we have the answer is yes. But spirit is saying that now is not the perfect time. You're not ready. But you should be telling somebody yes. The answer is yes, but you're not ready. Or you should be honest about where you're at. Mentally, physically, spiritually. You need to decide what it is that you are saying yes to and what you're ready for. Okay. Okay. So we have divine timing and forgiveness. So there's a serendipitous event that's going to allow you to forgive something or somebody or yourself. Okay. Somebody is your perfect match that you will find yourself falling in love with it, in love with because you complete this person and this person completes you. Let's see. Okay, there's a love spell that's going to be broken. Somebody here may have secret accounts. Somebody has multiple accounts committing to different people, asking them for their hand in marriage. Damn. Somebody's going to try to backstab you by doing this, presenting themselves as a twin flame or keeping you from your real twin. There is somebody here that's going to get a DM or some sort of message here about somebody that wants to pop the question to you. Okay. Somebody is going to be happy that a person's life will be going downhill just merely off of um, setting them up to fail with spam calls, text messages, email, be careful what you click and what you are viewing online, because these are ways for somebody to make sure that you lose. Okay. That they can interfere with your bag. Somebody's trying to present you with a false opportunity. This could be your false twin, but there is your real twin that's coming in with some sort of a uh, DM text message email, etc. Or you could come across somebody's profile and you're like, damn, I'm so drawn to this person. I'm going to shoot my shot. Or somebody could be doing this for you. Okay. There's a new cycle that's being renewed. Okay. Somebody here could be unemployed with a lot of debt or bad credit. I feel like there's something about drinking that somebody's giving up. Somebody here could be buying a lot of alcohol. Okay. Losing sleep. Maybe ashamed, guilty, or embarrassed of the way that they're living or living in the moment. 
somebody here has a love-hate relationship with a person that may be trying to change right now but it could lead somebody to be in the arms of somebody else this could be a, a possible co-worker okay somebody's trying to find a way to quit drinking okay because this turns them into a different person somebody could have like um been drunk and asked to marry somebody somebody walks around with a ring in their pocket i feel like this is just to bait somebody to get them to commit or really somebody is truly fucked up over you and a, um i feel like they're hiding some sort of like work relationship yeah you're gonna see somebody's true colors eventually or maybe you're showing your true colors whether this is good or bad tell me more what's the message What's the message for Virgo? Somebody's name is Carla. Okay. There is a heartless female that has a bad reputation that's really unfazed when it comes to certain people or energies. Okay. Somebody here is talking shit about you dropping your ego or you not having any sorts of pride or whatever this is. Somebody not being shit and you crying over somebody. Or somebody crying over you. Somebody could be making fun of a person that has levels of emotions for you or you for them. Take it as it resonates. Okay. Somebody's planning to get evidence against you. This is somebody that is um, bullying you online. Or that you have suffered at the hands of somebody um, cyber stalking you. Okay. Seeing you as a groupie. But somebody really has no facts, but they're trying to conjure up some facts that looks credible when it comes to you. They're getting some sort of photo proof. Okay. Somebody here could be calling you a munch. Let's see here. message for Virgo. So needle and thread tells us that there's some sort of sincere wish that will be granted. Okay. Where you will overall be happy and have well-being. We also have this fair woman dealings or relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. I feel like there's some sort of double dating or kind of walking you through getting, um, getting the opportunity to date or somebody could be introducing you to somebody whoever this fair woman is yeah you're going to be getting some sort of advice about dating or or what you want in your life somebody is going to be helping you with this whoever this fair woman is somebody's manifesting that you do not <laughs> that you do not let go of them Somebody does not want you to move on. Somebody's manifesting you back into their energy or you're doing this for this person. Okay. So, yeah, I feel like somebody's not listening to um, individuals when it comes to love or somebody's just going to follow their own intuition. I feel like somebody doesn't feel it's necessary to choose a battle okay but rather find balance yeah to be in this neutral energy somebody could be helpless and hopeless when it comes to love okay or sharing love telling somebody that they love somebody solar plexus is in reverse there's a lack of um feeling confident or having self-worth with somebody i feel like this could be your person it could possibly be you but i feel like it's more so your person Let's see. I heard reputable. Message. For Virgo. Yeah, we got this yesterday. Somebody is definitely purging. 
they're releasing anything that's no longer serving them. And they realize that there's a lot of things that were untouched or left unsaid. There's so much unresolved stuff between us. Okay. And they're no longer in their shadow, but they are facing their darkness. But they also feel like there's some sort of toxicity that links them to you, but they miss you so much. It's your, it's your, who you are. They're still checking up on you. They don't want to stay silent. They want to know if it's possible for another chance. This person is not necessarily ready to surrender or maybe they're getting ready because first it was in the upright where it means that they're not ready to surrender, but they do feel it. Yeah, they're still spying on you. That's why that page of swords was coming up. Or maybe today, there's something about the energy today that they're like literally spying on you here, Virgo. Or you're wondering what they're doing. What's the ancestral message? Okay, so somebody's throat chakra is blocked or maybe somebody is holding back on what they want to say because they're afraid of what the next step in their transition or changing energy brings. Okay, somebody might not want something to change or isn't ready for something to change, but this is somebody that misses the mark when it comes to having inner strength to move forward. Somebody is not taking accountability for um, anything right now, okay? Somebody doesn't want the, the responsibility of that right now, okay? Somebody may not want to wait for confirmation, but if there's no movement, then you don't get it. Somebody thinks that they could short shorten the 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 willpower to move forward to create okay somebody could be doing some sort of sex magic to procreate here with you because somebody here is um maternally uh somebody has maternal instincts that peaks up somebody here may want to have a child with you but it's like in other ways they're just not ready or competent to even do that Somebody here loves you, okay? Or somebody wants to love you the traditional way. That's what I'm picking up here. Give me a minute. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Okay, so we do have prison. Can I get one more? And court. The numbers 29 and 23 could be significant here. Somebody feels like they, they, they are bound or they don't have a choice. Somebody could be incarcerated here and may have a hearing date. Somebody feels very vulnerable. Somebody feels like they're, they're not in a place where they could be happy because they have a false person breathing down their neck. There's a letter that has been submitted to the courts or to this person or some sort of message here that doesn't give this person much hope. And I feel like somebody's being kept out of the loop and they're trying to, to compose their anger or displace their emotions until they find some sort of solidification in getting to understand what's going on. Let's see here. Tell me more about this prison and court energy. Magician. Somebody's asking for something from the universe. Somebody is asking for something to be taken from a person as, uh, as the emperor. Somebody wants to take an emperor down. Okay. 
This is a scorned queen of wands. Okay. Let's see. What's this magician? Okay, so we have stagnation. Somebody wants for your situation legally, whether you have a case or not, somebody wants to have something pushed back for you, okay? Somebody wants you to have issues with whatever it is that you're doing, whatever business that you got going on. They feel like you're not setting realistic goals to, to get towards something, but you, you have the eight of pentacles. People like working with you. You're getting nothing but good reviews and somebody wants to turn your lifestyle, your home upside down. Okay. Somebody needs to let, not let something consume them. Okay. Somebody's just mad. A person wants to court you and it's the same emperor that they want to bring down. And in bringing this emperor down, they bring you down too with legalities. I feel like somebody here needs to watch my fire sign read that's currently being uploaded right now because it's the same energy that I was picking up. There's a karmic that this, this uh, fire sign, whether you're a masculine or feminine, is dealing with. And because somebody no longer wants to be with this person, this same queen of wands that is showing up in your reading as reverse because they're jealous that this person wants to be with you, Virgo, they're mad. Just because somebody wants to be with you does not necessarily mean that you're going to take it for what it is and be with them. The, the energy is all up to you here. Okay? But somebody assumes that if this person comes back that y'all will be a team again. And that's what they're afraid of. They're trying to prevent this from happening so that you have some sort of stagnation in your life, Virgo. Yeah, they, they want to fight you or they want to start some sort of problem because somebody feels like they're the only empress or the queen of that capital that they cannot be replaced by you. Let's see here. I heard tarnish or tar. Somebody here could be dark or somebody here could be doing work on the pavement here. Okay. Somebody here, their, their vehicle or a person could have um, gotten into an accident. Okay. So somebody is, is not coming into some sort of fulfillment or something could be held back. I feel like this could have something to do with family, friends, people around you that you think are a part of your soul tribe. I feel like there is b blame being put on someone that could have been working as a, um, a group to do this. I feel like this is a collaborative of people that are a part of a soul tribe or a family group. Okay. That's doing this. The number 23 could be significant. I heard now you're talking. This could be your family or the family of somebody else that has a vendetta against you. Okay. We have promise. Somebody's mad because there was a promise to uh, court you or to be with you or to give you some sort of engagement. But I feel like somebody put a curse upon this love dynamic. Okay, to keep this person from binding um, or courting you. Okay, somebody does not want you to be the person that they have a child with. Okay, so they're taking some sort of gift or money or, or it's like this will be the sacrifice for trying to be with someone that they want to be with. Yes, somebody thought that they were going to teach you a lesson. The number 28 could be significant as well. But I feel like there was attention being called to a person that may be trying to uh, stop you from living your life. 
somebody's trying to get you out of your body because they lost um, their marital spouse or partner to you. Okay. Spirit is saying, do not do anything drastic. Somebody here that betrayed you and tried to deal with your person is being eradicated. Okay. Somebody thinks that anything that you have that, that you have, they could take or bring you some sort of injustice in some way. Okay. Somebody here could be going to a practitioner to, um, Hmm. Somebody wants to go to a practitioner to, um, make something. It's like to find out some sort of unknown, unknown source or information on you. Okay. Somebody try wants to be one step ahead of you so that they can trap you. Somebody's going to be sorry, or somebody has an apology that they want to issue you or you issuing them. This is somebody that's coming in the form of a friend. Watch the friends that you smoke with and run joke with, okay? Something that a person may have exploited, um, may have been unfearful to take from you, has to bring it back, okay? I feel like this was something that was supposed to be eternal for you, that you were supposed to have forever, that you were supposed to have for safekeeping, and this person tried to take this from you purposefully, but this person can no longer hold back or hold out on this. This person is guilty of trying to bully you to stop something that was supposed to go forward for you here. Okay. I feel like literally somebody wants to take your place and they're going to be put in theirs by having to learn a, a lesson through karma. Okay. Somebody here tried to personally sacrifice you through using divination or paying a, a um, person to have you spiritually go through a lot of things through the legal system or to have something unfair to you here. Somebody's going to run out of strategies to do this. Somebody's name is Lena, Alina, Althea. Somebody's last name. Starts with the letter P. I'm also here in Pakistan. Or Palestinian. Okay. I've been here in Palestine for the last few days too. I'm going to go ahead and see what else is going on. I'm going to get two more oracles and then I'm going to close out. What's the message? Okay, so we have status quo in reverse and courage in the overall energy. So status quo is in reverse. The numbers 184 could be significant. Okay, status quo reverse is a time of radical discontinuity. There is a great upheaval taking place potentially sooner than you think. It may be of your choosing, like leaving a relationship or a job, or it may be a big change not of your own making, such as the closing of a business that employs you. But either way, it's time for you to get clear in your thinking and consider the steps you need to take to redirect your destiny. Even if the changing situation seems outside of your control, never lose sight of the fact that you own the power of your thoughts. In fact, this can be precisely the opportunity you need to move out of your desired destiny. The adjustment may be severe, but you will know less than a phoenix rising out of the flames of disruption. I told you somebody is trying to disrupt what you got going on using the legal system or justice to go up against you. OK, so take heart. Look at the options that empower you and let yourself move forward with courage and inner peace. And it's so funny that this says courage because that's exactly what's here. I feel like you will have the courage to take yourself away from a cycle that no longer serves you or that could be a detriment to your life. All right. The affirmation for this is I determine the emotional energy of my life. My inner strength flows through every experience. And I feel you're coming on to an increase because after the status quo 
of you moving out of a cycle, you get a cycle of expanding energy through an increase. An increase is on its way. All right. Let's see here. What's the message? Messages for Virgo. What do we need to know here? Okay, so we have coffee cup in reverse, the runner in the upright, and we have abundance in reverse. Somebody's unable to manifest. I feel like this is because you may have had your energy set on a runner or a person that was that you were codependent with. I feel like you're still physically attracted to a person or a person is still physically attracted to you and it's keeping you from um, this abundance energy of being in this mindset to attract what you want. Okay. Have faith. Your love is coming. But somebody is not your your person. Somebody is a false twin. Okay? You need to get yourself outside of this energy of not being able to take a chance or a risk at something. Because there's an engagement that's going to come through. But you need to heal first. Okay? You need to heal is what Spirit is saying here. All right? Anyway, that's what I have here for your current messages. Hopefully it resonates. If it does, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you're interested in your own personal, then be sure to email me. And as always, stay blessed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.